Welcome to Time to Cook. I'm Chef Christy and today I want to show you how to make a meal out of using leftovers. This is something that I really like to do. I do not like to see food thrown away and wasted. So if I can come up with a new recipe by using what I have in my fridge, then, then that's what I do. And today I'm going to make a taco pizza using leftover taco meat, uh, black bean and corn salsa, and a queso blanco. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I also am gonna be using my pizza dough, and I will have the video, the link to the video how to make that down below in the description box. But let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I have my pizza stone, and I'm not sure if you have one, but I love them, and I have put, um, about a tablespoon of olive oil and I'm just going to just spread that olive oil all around with my hands and then I have my pizza dough and like I said this is the pizza dough I made and I just take it and I'm going to make two just tear it in half if I can get it and this will make two pieces and then what I'm going to do is just press this out and I'll show you how I do that okay as you can see I am just going to press this out and just until it gets all the whole pizza pan is, is completely covered. Now, if I like a thin, I like a thinner crust. If you like a thicker crust, then you can just probably use the whole dough. But I want to make two pizzas. But I'm going to show you my taco pizza because it has my leftovers. So I'm going to continue to do this, and then I'll show you when it's completely finished. Okay, so I have my pizza dough completely spread out. So now what I'm going to do is. Uh, I'm going to take my queso blanco, and this is going to be my sauce. And I'm just going to, if I can get this, pour all of it out. And I, I will have the recipe to this. Will also, with the link to the video that I make this, will be in the description box below. So I'm going to spread all this around, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so my cheese is all spread around, and now I'm going to take leftover taco meat that I have in my fridge, and I'm going to spread all this around. Now, if you wanted to do like chicken, like a chicken fajita blend, like if you had leftover chicken fajita with the chicken and onions and peppers, that would be delicious as well. But I'm just going to use the taco meat, so I'm going to continue to do this, and I'll I will show you what's next. Okay, so I got my taco meat all spread over, and I had leftover black bean and corn salsa. Now, this is optional. You do not have to do this. You can just do just the taco meat, and it would be fine. But I am going to put this black bean and corn salsa, and I'm probably only going to do half because my son doesn't care for the, the black beans as much. So I'm going to do half with this, and then I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, so now... I am going to take shredded uh, cheddar, and it's cheddar, it's a um, Mexican blend, so it's got your cheddar and Monterey Jack, and uh, I'm going to sp sprinkle this all over the top, and then I'm going to put this, when I'm finished, I'm going to put it into a, a 400 degree oven for, I don't I would say maybe 20 minutes, you'll have to watch it, just like you would any other pizza, but I'm just going to top this off and pop in the oven. I'll show you when it comes out. Okay, my taco pizza has just come out of the oven. It was in the oven for, for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. And now I'm going to show you how to top it. Okay, so we're going to top this taco pizza. This is what makes it taco. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take shredded lettuce and I'm going to put all over the top of the pizza. And this is what makes it good. This is what makes it taco. And then I'm going to take, and do you know how on the, back, the bottom of your bag of tortilla chips you always have the crumbs? Well, you can save those or you could just crumble them up. But I'm just going to take some, some tortilla chips that um, are crumbled. And you can even use Doritos. Uh, my family really likes that as well. I'm just gonna crumble these all over top. And then I'm gonna take some uh, fresh salsa and just kind of dollop that around. 
Oh, this is so good. This this really is one of my family's favorites. They love it when I make this taco pizza. So I really hope that you try it because I really think you're going to like it. It's just something different. All right. And then I'm going to show you something. You can take your sour cream and just put little dollops or you can be fancy. Well, it's really not that fancy, but take a Ziploc bag, put your sour cream in there and then just cut a, a little hole and then this makes you look like you're, I don't know, fancy. And then just kind of drizzle that all over the top. Ta-da! And then it looks like, wow, you did something spectacular. But it, obviously, if you want more, you can put more. But that is that is a taco pizza. And then you can sprinkle with more shredded um, cheddar. But I'm going to use some queso fresco because I had that in my fridge. And just sprinkle your queso fresco all over top as well or any cheese that you want and there you have it a taco pizza so I really hope that you try this recipe but I'm going to cut a slice I've got to get my pizza cutter though so I will show you here in a second okay I'm going to cut this pizza it's almost too pretty to cut but I'm going to cut it the way across cut myself a slice oh this this is just so so good I wonder if I can get this out without it all falling off well sort of so I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to try this or not but I'm gonna give it a go mm. oh where has this been all my life? I mean, a taco pizza, phenomenal. I hope that you try it. And I've got cheese on my face again. And as always, I hope that you subscribe and the recipe will be in the link below to the taco pizza, along with the video for the queso blanco and the black bean and corn salsa. So I had a great time. I hope you learned something and I will see you next time.